Hi guys, I'm Dan from Stanton Bikes and this is the brand new Switch Niner Gen 4 Titanium. So this is running a 3AL 2.5V triple butted tube set, um, all custom drawn to my specifications. Uh, we've got a fully CNC'd uh, double-sided yoke that's machined from one billet of titanium. Um, the reason we run that is because it gives clearance for a 2.5 tire with a 427 millimeter chain stay. And on a 52 millimeter chain line, you can run up to a 34 tooth chain ring. So really that's ideal for general trail use and all mountain use. It's, it's absolutely spot on gearing, tire size, nice uh, tight chain stay. We have a 70 millimeter bottom bracket drop, a 65 and a half degree head angle, and a 75 degree seat tube angle. That's all in the sag of 140 millimeter fork, about 25 millimeters into the sag. That's what gives you those numbers. Um, but the things that have changed on the Gen 4 over the Gen 3 um, is more about the sizing of the product. So what I've done is I've upsized all of the product. So the 16.5 now fits somebody of five foot 10 absolutely perfectly, rather than the current 16.5 fitting somebody around five foot eight. What I've done is I've increased the virtual top tube length by 25 millimeters. And this has also obviously increased the uh, the reach of the bike and the wheelbase of the bike by 25 millimeters. So some of the features that really set this product apart against other products on the market are things such as the water cut uh, seat stay brace that we then CNC the logo into. And as I mentioned before about the yoke being machined from one piece of billet, we also do that with the dropouts. So the reason that we CNC products is because we don't get any impurities in CNC. If you are casting a product, then you can end up with impurities and that can lead to cracks. The frame comes boost as standard. It also has a BSA threaded 73 millimeter shell bottom bracket. It has a 44 millimeter head tube, so you can run a tapered steerer. The seat post is still 31.6 and it has an insertion depth of 230 millimeters, which means you can run up to 180 millimeter dropper post no problem. So one of the major things that we've changed on this frame is the routing. You'll see this new super slick looking routing on these Gen 4s. Um, and basically it's not just for aesthetics because there's also inside the tube, there's a little flute that basically raises the cable off the bottom of the top tube. This reduces noise massively in the frame. We offer bead blasted finishes standard. However, you can upgrade to anodize finish or a Cerakote finish. I've gone for the blue titanium Cerakote wrap, um, but if there's a color that you'd like to go for, you know, you could just let us know and we can finish the frame to order to your specifications. Personally, I absolutely love this frame. Uh, this model has been around for about five years and this is the newest iteration of it. If you want to know more about it, have a look at the link below and that will take you straight to our website. If you've watched to the end of this video, thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.